Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be planting these three Daphne Adora varieties uh, into my landscape here in Raleigh, North Carolina, Zone 7B. Uh, Holly is right behind me uh, laying inside the door. Maybe you can see her. I don't know. Uh, about two weeks ago, I planted a, a, a Daphne Adora Wild Winter in a container in my front yard. And I used a product called Permatil, which is just an expanded slate product. It's basically a rock with some air in it uh, to create some aeration. Uh, I used that in my potting mix uh, to make sure that that pot was going to be well drained all the time. Daphne Adora definitely has some issues uh, with root rot. Uh, so um, I'm going to do the same thing in the ground. I'm going to use some of that Permatil. It's not something I use frequently, um, but uh, plants that uh, have an issue with drainage. Uh, I have a clay-based soil here and I wanna make sure that I create a situation where the water can pass through. Now, whether I do that or not, uh, Daphne can be, still be finicky, and uh, it's kind of short-lived uh, in the environment anyway. Daphne Adora is, you know, I think lives like eight to 10 years, even in the wild. So not a particularly long-lived plant regardless. Uh, so why would, uh, so why would uh, I be putting something in that's uh, that short-lived and they're also they're also not inexpensive because even the growers have issues uh, with, uh, with growing these. Uh, the reason for it is there's nothing with a fragrance like this. This, this has this incredible sweet uh, fragrance that in the late winter for, for a couple weeks uh, when, these, when these open up, nothing smells like it. My entire backyard smells, uh, smells like this. It's almost a tropical sweet uh, fragrance. Uh, the, uh, these uh, inflorescences or clusters of flowers uh, are probably you know, an inch and a half across, something like that. Uh, these plants will get, gosh, they can get six feet in height. Most of the time in landscapes, I see uh, Daphne around you know, mature-ish mature ones, um, three, three and a half feet tall, a little wider uh, than tall. Uh, that one I put out front is called Wild Winter, has a super interesting variegation. Uh, this one right here is regular Daphne Adora, and you'll see on the flowers here, on the back of the flower, it looks like the flowers are going to be kind of a purplish pink color, but then they open and there's white uh, in the center of the flower uh, when the cluster opens or the inflorescence uh, is fully open. This is Daphne Adora Aeromarginata, probably the most common one. Um, it has the outside um, variegation and then uh, same color flowers as the regular uh, Daphne Adora. And the third one I'm putting in the ground is in this one gallon container. This is uh, Aeromarginata alba. So it's got the same, it's the variegation uh, just like this one and then the flowers are white. That's where the alba uh, comes from. I got this one from Camellia Forest a week or two ago. It's on, they're an online place. They may have these um, you may have some Daphne varieties uh, for mail order on their site. And I got these two from Jason St Stevens at Superior Plants. I put up a video from his place a few weeks ago when I purchased these. And um, uh, he's at uh, Pine Knot Farm Sale the next two weekends in Virginia if you want to uh, possibly uh, grab a Daphne uh, from him. Garden Center in your area is likely to have them. Probably not going to find uh, Daphne at a uh, box store. Maybe you will, but uh, I, I, probably, probably unlikely. It's usually going to be at some sort of garden center. Okay, so again, you know, I'm going to use that Permatil. I'm pulling the mulch back uh, on these. I'm mixing about 50% uh, Permatil with the existing soil that I have. I'm leaving these slightly elevated above the grade, just like I would on any other plant uh, in my soil here and then I'm packing the soil back around them and then I'm mulching them uh, lightly. I'm not mulching up on the stems uh, at all. Okay, so I have them in the ground. This is that Daphne Adora Aeromarginata Alba. It has the uh, white flowers on it. This one was in a one gallon container. You can see the white variegation on the edge of the leaves. It will be more pronounced as the plant gets older. That's what I've always found. Sometimes I would take cuttings on variegated ones and the first new growth was green and I thought that uh, maybe something would, had some issue, but within a season or so, uh, the uh, leaves would be, uh, uh, have much more variegation on them. So this one's just the species, Daphne Adora, no uh, variegation in it. You can see the uh, inflorescence, the uh, back of it is kind of, you know, looks like the flower was gonna be purple inside of the flowers, individual flowers are white, incredibly fragrant, new growth. 
comes about the time these things finish they put on a big flush of growth and that's kind of the only growth you get in a season on these these are hardy in zone seven to nine so out here in the front yard with the last one that's the permatil it's a north carolina made product i don't know where it's available but you should be able to get some sort of expanded slate um, product in your area here's the uh daphne adora aero marginata the outside variegation and the uh, flowers that are similar to the uh, regular uh, daphne adora all parts of this plant are poisonous and so i feel like i should mention you mentioned that don't eat it uh, deer won't eat it either so that's a good thing i do have these again um, planted with a mix 50 50 with the permatil if you can get pine bark soil conditioner in your area you know i would definitely at least use that i've got them probably mounted up about this high above the original grade a couple inches and uh, i will um it's it's rained and rained and rained recently uh, i will water this in to settle it in and then after that i'm going to let it get pretty dry before i uh water my Daphne. I don't think I'll have to water this uh, very many times in this first season. And once it's established, pretty much almost never uh, will I give it any additional water. So thank you very much for watching these videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see uh, how these uh, four Daphne varieties now in my yard perform this year. Thanks for watching.